Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design Now. Today we're going to be making another corner finding probe for our CNC. Thank you to PCBWay who are the sponsors of today's video. PCBWay offer a huge range of services for all types of makers and tinkerers. They offer 3D printing, CNC machining, PCB etching and many other services. They offer quick turnaround times and low volume orders for all of these services, which is great if you need to make one-off prototypes like I often do. They also currently have some amazing Christmas offers on their store with up to 50% of 3D printing and CNC machining. Check out PCBWay.com today. I made this 3D printed version a few years ago. It does the job, it's very cheap and very quick and easy to make if you've got a 3D printer. There's a few things that I don't like about it and that's why I've decided to make a new one. First of all is using a crocodile clip to attach to this probe. Over time, you know, this aluminium foil, it just kind of like breaks apart and sometimes you can lose connection when you are doing the probing, which is very annoying. So ideally I would like the uh, the wire to be kind of fixed into this into this probe. The other thing as well is that when I originally designed this, I made this uh, ridge here quite deep so it can easily latch onto the corner. But I found that I use this the most when I'm actually doing engraving. The sheet metal that I'm using is one to four millimeters thick. And this ridge here is just too deep to actually get an accurate Z reading. So it's those reasons that I'm gonna make another one. And I'm gonna make this out of aluminium. The top part is gonna to be aluminium. And that means that I can actually uh, tap a hole into the top aluminium part and I can thread in the, the probe wire so it's got a permanent connection so it's not gonna come loose. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a very, very small lip or ridge to go around the edge here. And that's because I, I wanna be able to use this on sheet metal that is two millimeters thick. So it's probably gonna be about 1.5 millimeters. So I'll show you how I designed this in Fusion 360. It's very quick and easy. You can make the measurements whatever you want. It's just important to remember the measurements because you will need to enter those measurements into the Mac free code that I will supply. So as you can see the Fusion 360 model here, it's just two parts. One's gonna be in polycarbonate, the top part is gonna be in aluminium. We'll start by machining the aluminium top part first. I'm just putting in a pocket and then followed by an outer contour to cut it out. I flipped it over and just did a facing operation to get it to the thickness that I require. Next was the drilling and tapping of the hole to hold the probe wire in the aluminium part. The bottom part is just a scrap bit of polycarbonate. Now for gluing it together, I'm just using a few drops of super glue here. It dries really quickly, almost instantly, as soon as you put these two parts together. First time I did it, didn't realize it was gonna actually dry that quickly, and I had to wedge it open again and do it a second time. Just make sure you've got one side nice and flush with your fingers, line up the edges, and then just drop it in. As soon as you drop it in, it will stick together. The probe wire is very simple. It's just a crocodile clip for one, and I've got another terminal with a uh, M4 nut, and the connector for the probe wire will just be whatever your CNC controller box has. Heading over to Mac Free, all you wanna do is go to Operator, Edit Button, and then you wanna edit the Auto Tool Zero. You wanna paste the script that you can get from the link in the description. Now, the only thing you need to do with this script is edit this section here. So the first line is the height, and you just need to measure uh, distance between the recessed hole and the base of the polycarbonate bit. The width is just the width of the pocket that you put into the aluminium part. And the maximum travel is just a little bit longer than the width of the part. Going from the model that I've made and my measurements, this is what my code looks like. And this is how it works. You just click on the Auto Tool Zero button. You can select the X and Y position as well as the Z. Set your end mill diameter and then click OK. And it will first of all probe for the Z height. It will then do the X and then the Y. Hit your go to zero button and you can see it goes exactly to the corner. 
So hopefully you found that useful. I will put the files and also the links to the code in the description. I hope everyone has a nice Christmas. Fingers crossed we're not going to be locked down in the UK. I will see you all next week. That is it for now. I'll catch you later.